hello everyone hope everyone is doing great guys thank you for your support and we are at about 160 subscribers and hope to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of this month today's video is going to be very interesting as you know ai is on the peak so today we are, will be talking about just the regular how to use stable diffusion i'm not talking about how to make money or anything so just regular tutorial so here we go stable the fusion simple no need for login nothing the first link you're gonna be opening is the one and you see here stable diffusion so a little bit more about the stable diffusion itself stable diffusion is a latent text to image diffusion model capable of generating photorealistic images given any text input cultivates an autonomous freedom to produce incredible imagery empower billions of people to create stunning art within a sec there you go so this is stable diffusion literally this is that's it so this is the playground we going to be working on so without wasting any time let's start with the basic one image of uh of a duck there you go basic one so we're gonna see how we can change the way we use our prompt and how it will affect our results so right here we have four images obviously like easy just if you like this one click on it and then right click on it and save images as this and then you can save the image just like that right so you see here it's downloaded already and uh, you'd be like oh guess it's still very basic but the main part that really helps is the prompt itself the better the prompt you have the better the result you will get it's that simple so right here we also have something better if you don't wanna like wanna go through all the hassle of thinking of how to create a perfect image that you want you can just use a little bit of help it's a prompt database we just click on it and search for prompts here again we're gonna try uh, write duck simple that's it let's see okay so i have another solution for it too so sometime you see here it's been it's been a while that the search prompt is not working for some reason as you can see i put duck here it's not showing me anything even if i uh, wait for like longer period of time so the uh, purpose not only to show you the purpose of this video was not only to show you the stable diffusion but also the alternatives for using prompt so right here i'm going to open a magic prompt creator it's called thomas.io it's a prompt generator for stable diffusion simple is that and you will see how it will drastically change the image that we formed before so here we go we're just gonna write duck right we don't know what we want anything we're gonna be learning the keywords from here to make our image way better cooler generate palm duck simple as that you see here realistic 3d rendering of a duck watercolor style soft pastel colors cute duck swimming in a pond with trees in the background 8k concept art there you go all you have to do is just copy if, if it's about like if it's your to liking copy it put it here and you will see how this will drastically change so we will go back to the playground and we're gonna wait because you can see there's a lot of um users at the moment and here we go sometimes you can all you have to do is just put this and then just here high quality that's it quality tt generate depending on your internet speed it's gonna take a while and also on your uh prompt it will take a while so keep that in mind and to to this date 
to the period we are recording the video it's not there's no problem for any copyright law the images you will be creating is gonna be your own you can use it for your own purposes for your own uh, personal use anything that you want so my, my purpose was to show you guys how you can use um, an AI to create the images that will cost you a good bang uh, a few dollars couple of dollars I would say and you will still not be satisfied with the result you probably would get which you can get over here without telling the person how to do it so it's better to do this way I must say you see <laughs> if you saw the image that we had before let me just open it for you for a second that was our duck before with just a simple regular duck work and here you see the detail it's beyond imagination like so now we have seen how stable diffusion works so let's see what we can ge generate that we can use or which can help in our daily life in aspect of business in academic for re researches so first we will start about the avatar uh fu funny uh create human like avatar let's see okay so we will be copying from here then just putting over here paste let's see what it generates so right now we are creating an avatar that we can use for our profiles picture where we don't want to represent ourselves we can just describe it you see here it's not we were th I was thinking but avatar it is you see very very detailed if you look at this one I, w I must say this one wow and then you see if you don't like this one or anything there is a um, variation we can do again we can just let's say you didn't like this one right these we can just click again one more time and it will generate a different uh, unique uh, images set of force there you go so for more power okay so this was the avatar that we created now we're gonna create a gif i would say uh create create gif often of a cat of a cat there you go gif copy again we're gonna be pasting it here let's see what it shows again guys i'm not gonna tell you how you can make money off of it unless you know there's a lot of videos on the internet for that one i'm just trying to teach you how you can do it uh, how you can use stable diffusion for your for your work or anything learning it's a funny thing <laughs> there you go it's a cat and uh, one more thing i have in my mind was what logo so create create a logo for my tech company right so here you can put anything or describe it more but it's just gonna be okay so there we go okay color logo company there you go so i'm gonna just put it again i'm just gonna i'm just showing how uh, what are the uses that you can use like okay create avatars if you want to do some fun stuff or you can create company logos literally from scratch hey or you can just get an idea Okay, so it will never gonna show you the text unless you put it very clearly. But these are some ideas, especially this one. I like it, like it says a random words or a stones looking thing. And let's, uh, before wrapping it up, let me just show you some example over here. The one, the funny ones that I saw here, this one. This one is funny. So, right, just click on it. It will automatically be appearing over here. You see a Pikachu fine dining with a view 
to the Eiffel Tower. Press generate and it will generate. Let me see if there's another funny thing that he... No, not this one. A delicious meal. We can do this one. Funky one. Okay, so let's wait. There you go. Very amazing, I would say. Not that much realistic. Again, you have to go with the better prompts. But uh, before, uh, this is the last one we're going to be doing. Let's see how this comes out. Again, guys, learning is good. But I feel like in also my case, I learn when it is necessary. Like I'm not going to be searching oh, what it is until I need. Okay, wow. So you see how detailed I I I images are. Sometimes you get amazing images. And sometimes you don't. So as I was saying, you will only learn when you need something or you want to do something. You will never learn just like, you know, searching through the internet or something. You will be looking at this uh, video when you need or you are out of curiosity what is stable diffusion. So I'm not going to be telling you how to make money again or whatever because it's up to you guys. You will... Uh, find your way everybody's unique in their own ways again I would say and um, uh, they have everybody has the, their own way of thinking so that's why the content of everybody's is different so hope so hope you like today's video and guys again uh, humble re request reminder guys if you're liking my video so please support uh, let's read thousand subscribers by the end of this one month i believe in you guys and love you guys for your support and um um one more thing so i'll be posting a more better version uh i'm i'll be posting a tutorial about mid journey too so if you're interested it's another the ai uh image generator which is far more uh superior than the the one that we did today and there's a su uh, surprising video coming. It's a gadget, unboxing gadget with amazing story. So follow along with the journey and hope to see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care of yourself and your families. Goodbye.